Jesus was wounded in his brow so you wouldn't have to carry all that anxiety and worry. Jesus was wounded in his back so you could be healed in your body, your mind, your emotions. Jesus was wounded in his hands so your sins could be forgiven forever. That's the most important wound. Jesus was wounded in his feet so you could have victory over everything that's been giving you grief in your life. And finally, Jesus was wounded in his side. And that spear went so far into his body that it pierced the sac around his heart. Medically, they would call it hypovolemic shock. Blood and water. Such severe blood and fluid loss that his organs would have begun to stop working. That inner wound was the most serious wound of all. Just like your inner wounds are the most serious of all. <laughs> but Jesus was wounded inside, in his side. So all of your inner wounds, the wounds that you never talk about, the wounds that you never share, the wounds that nobody probably knows about, he didn't just heal your body. He wants to heal your spirit. Psalm 147 says, He healeth the broken in heart, and he bindeth up their wounds. Jeremiah said, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they call you an outcast. And they say, That's just Zion. No man seeketh after. I'm preaching to somebody that someone in your life said something, did something, harmed you, hurt you, misused you, abused you, and you still feel it and you still suffer from it. And you have wounds. And they're so deep, you don't think anything can touch them. They're so permanent, you don't think anything can heal them. I have good news for you. Jesus not only suffered wounds in his brow and his back, his hands and his feet, he suffered a wound in his side that went clear to his heart. And that's why he can heal your heart. That's why he can heal your emotions. That's why he can heal your pain. That's why he can turn around things that nobody else can turn around. Jesus was wounded. And because he was wounded, you don't have to stay wounded. You can be healed.